frustrating thing I've ever done in a video game. Bro, like, I'm just trying to get one soul of night. I'm in the underground crimson. It says this is the only place you can get it. I've killed about 100 fucking enemies. It's so frustrating. Joke's on you, past Mitch. You're in the wrong place to begin with, you fucking moron. Welcome back to another episode of the 7 Years On Terraria playthrough. Let's just get straight into it. Shut the fucking door. Our main objective in this episode is to progress through the hard mode bosses, starting with the mechanical bosses, then Plantera, then the Golem, and then Duke Fishron. I'm going to give a full disclaimer, I lose track of the videos, it is one of my worst habits with content creation, I just enjoy the game so much that I just lose myself for hours and hours and hours and hours, and then when it comes to editing, I don't know where to begin with. There's a shark. Drop a fin, drop a fin. Yes! Let's go! It's all I wanted. One fin. I think the main purpose of this video is to ascertain the Mega Shark, which I just did by getting the last fin, and taking on most, if not all, of the hard mode bosses. And then... We got ourselves the Mini Shark, baby. The Monarch, too. That's anything I didn't think of. <sighs> Fucking zombies spawning, bro. What's that all about? Yeah, I don't like these fucking eyeball things, they're pissing me off. They're the things that's gonna kill me, bro. Especially because they can go through fucking walls, bro. That's a bit unfair. Just keep busy for a minute. I've got my good arrows on. Oh, that's way easier. Oh, 
Come on, these, these, these are way better. Look at that fucker. They're, they're the more dangerous thing. Talk about just take on Cthulhu for some fun. Watch this shit. Where is he? <laughs> oh, I'm doing a bit more damage now. Poor I wasn't doing so well. Yeah, I'm shredding it. What oh, mouse, I say. Bang, there we go. A lot easier now. Let's go for spasmatism first. I think he's the weaker out of the two. Or just doesn't attack you as much. Oh, it's just stuck in the honey, as you do. Right, there we go. Now he's got his flame attack. Should be alright now. I'm taking a bit of damage here. Easy, we know. Right. Need a bit of regen. The spasmatism is definitely harder. Yeah, let's go. Give these a whirl. Come on in. I just jumped into lava on a stake. These on unholy arrows are kind of mad. Oh, I'll keep jumping in the fucking lava pit. I think a lot of my arrows are getting sucked up by his arms. I've already killed one arm. 
compared to the Mega Shark. I think probably just run with the mega sharp aim for his head. They were doing a way. <coughs> they're doing a lot more damage. He was stuck with over my words, I do apologise. We should defeat him. Osh. And then we're going to pop some more and run it straight back. So let's test our theory. Just the Mega Shark now and just aim for the head. Again, Skeletron Prime. Easy does it, lad. And we got the Drax. Bosh. Alright, fuck it. Here we go. Thorns potion, regen potion, and I don't know where my archery potion's gone. Where's she gonna come from? Go away. Oh, here she comes. I don't think I made the arena big enough. for a phase two. Ow. Oh, there's a phase two.
Oh, we finally used our 400 uh, Glorify. Let's go. Got a grenade launcher, got a thorn hook. I've got the temple key, baby. So one of the other things I should have done way sooner was create a mushroom biome on the surface to get the shroom NPC to move in. So I just did that quick. going to the upgraded dungeon now. I don't think I've ever got this far. I killed Plantera and I don't think I got further than this ever. The main goal here is to farm for a couple of items, the ninja gear, the sniper rifle and the tactical shotgun which would go on to being one of the best weapons that we received in the entire game. The next boss to take on is Duke Fishron. Now this is one of the hardest bosses in hard mode to defeat. I started off by building an arena which got interrupted by a marsh invasion which actually turned out to be really beneficial in the long run. Bro, I'm getting mullered mate. Influx Weaver. Brain Scambler. Whoa, what is this thing? At the time of getting this weird looking mount I didn't even realise that this would be the key to defeating Duke Fishron. And after collecting a bunch of truffle worms it was time to take on Duke Fishron. I've already fucked up and die a bunch of times. No, oh, and I'm still fucking dead, bruv. No, okay. I can't fucking do it, bruv. This is impossible. This is absolutely impossible. 
So I figured out the strategy where we use the mount to increase our left to right mobility and then ditch it, use the wings to fly up and sort of do a figure of eight round you fish run. And it eventually worked. This is the first run where it worked out. Get some space between us. Alright, don't overwhelm me. Come on. Come on. No way, not like this, not like this. He's got 51 H fucking P. Jesus. He's got 51 fucking HP. <laughs> so the final and probably the easiest out of all the hard mode bosses was the golem in the temple. I need to swap my bullets around. Can't hop up onto the fucking thingy. That hand's gone. Oh, he fucking has. I don't want you to do that. Get down. well easy. I said this at the end of last episode, I have a really bad habit in just playing the game for hours and hours and hours and hours and then when I come to edit I have hours of footage to go through. That was the hard mode bosses from the destroyer up until the lunatic cultist which is our next battle and eventually we're going to take on the moon lord which is end game which is nice because I've never completed this game. If you enjoyed the video please let me know down below, like, sub, flick on the notification bell just so you're told every time I post. Most importantly take it easy out there. Peace.